What's up, Air Signs? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in this bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every single one of you, motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, spirit, you are welcome into this reading. You must sage for my air gods. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, let's see what's going down. Okay. What did I... Did I title that? Yeah, so it's going to be for the 26th. I mean, this time until now, until the 29th, okay? 29th of October. So let's see what's going down. You already know how I do. I get the romance angels off top. I knew this was going to go out. I get the romance angels off top. Then we're going to get some clarification with the advice cards. Um, then tarot. Following that and possible outcomes. So, Gemini Libra Christ, let's see what's popping, baby. Here we go. All right, take it to me. Give it to me. Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Air signs. So, you could be feeling motherfucker. Feeling good. You might be feeling the conversation, feeling the love, the lip service, whatever you want to say, baby. But you're feeling it. Okay, with this chemistry. Also, release your ex. The time has come for you to clear your energy. Oh, shit. This is how I know Mercury Retrograde is coming on. Because we got all of the releasing your ex cards. Somebody's coming back. They feel contracted. They feel connected to you. But it's time to let them go. Okay, let the dusty motherfucker go, Elsa. So here we go. One more. Our size. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Very interesting, air signs. Very interesting. You could also have a true love. Okay, this is a romance of a lifetime. I did see that kind. So let's see what this releasing your ex is all about. Then we'll check out the family issues and the chemistry. Here we go. So I feel like a lot of you all could be still holding on to your ex or trying to share uh, some things with your ex. So let's see what's going on. It could be a friendship or a partnership. It's saying healing begins once you release this motherfucker. Okay, you need to open up. Look how she's looking like, oh, I'm her. Pop up, bitches. I'm healing. <laughs> so someone could be, you know, trying to come and do the pop up. Uh, healing family issues could be tying into that releasing your ex. Okay, uh, your solar plex chakra here could be your confidence, or someone is um, changing up their confidence. Is what I'm seeing with their solar plexus with that yellow baby. Okay, keeping it confident. Um, this could be you know your inner self of what other people of what you want other people to see with the solar plex chakra okay could be boosting up your your foundation as well let's see what this chemistry is all about too blossom baby so something's getting ready to take off and blossom for some of you air signs you've been waiting for this moment all of your life <laughs> but it's just it seems to me like this is the next phase okay so um let's see what's going on with this release your ex So some of you all could be healing from that pop-up bitch, okay? The pop-up heel. Oh, I like that. So you have the tower energy here. Someone is not really dedicating any moves or making any moves uh, for some of you guys. There could be some clarity that they need to come out with or there could have been some clarity. But since someone wasn't making any moves here or there wasn't a sudden change or it was just kind of a stalemate, I feel like it could be an Aquarian energy for some of you guys. Um, also could be uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio here. 
Um, there could be some communication where this person wants to come and talk to you. Okay, like I said, we're about to do Mercury retrograde. So some of y'all could be having some exes returning back to you. This looks to me like Cancer Pisces Scorpio here. You're also trying to keep your options open as well with releasing, um, you know, this energy that you shared or this idea that you thought about this person. Um, to me, you're getting ready to clear away from that. Even though they're coming towards you, you're going to be uh, communicating with them or having some sort of thought or discussion uh, is what it looks like. Okay, especially about an ending, Ten of Swords energy. This is where that healing begins. But like I said, I said this in the um, water video. Listen, motherfucker, you do not have closure. Okay, the phase is just over. Shit, it's, it's done. And it's time to move on to something different. Now, that shit might linger up in your energy, but the phase be done, okay? Yeah, world energy here, completion. So, I feel uh, that's what's happening. Um, you guys could be, you know, just losing interest from this person, or you could have lost interest due to the betrayals and the heartbreak with the Ten of Swords energy here. Or someone who was keeping their options open as well, all right? Uh, let's see what this healing family issues is all about. Because like I said, it's definitely some sort of confidence energy here. So, we have the King of Cups, Two of Pentacle Energy in Reverse. And the Page of Wands. I had to relight the week. So, uh, for some of you guys healing these family issues, it's making a final decision. It could be that you're trying to control your emotions. Or you're controlling your emotions very well with this King of Cups upright. Uh, a lot of you guys could be putting a thought and creativity into an idea. But I feel um, this could be with a child or this could be um, with a new intellect here. You guys could be, you know, thinking completely different ways with how you're going to solve your issues. Um, you could be dealing with two different people as well. Or this person could be just dealing with a lot of trauma. Yeah, with this hermit energy, I feel like you're getting a guiding light or some sort of light or some wisdom. You could be dealing with someone older as well. But this healing family issues, you could be dealing with two different people or how you balance your actions and how you balance your emotions. Okay, also could be somebody who is Cancer Pisces Scorpio, uh, Leo Sagittarius Aries energy here. Okay, um, I feel like with this healing family issues, there's something that's going to come along all of a sudden with this full energy, with a new journey, new beginning. Once you have this deciding factor, some of you guys might be having three little bodies, okay? Or this could be the leading roles that people are, are playing. King of Swords, King of Cups, also uh, King of Wands, okay? That you're healing. Could be having three brothers or this could be three men, three women, okay? But uh, this is healing family issues. Some of you all are kind of, it looks to me like you're kind of coming together on the table based off of some sort of valueship or a connection here. Okay, you could be talking to three different people, but there are three different kings here. Okay, so you got the king of swords, the king of cups. Definitely healing that. So let's see what this chemistry is all about, baby. Let's see what the chemistry is all about. Okay, temperance energy. There is something that is getting ready to transpire. Some of you all are leaving some old dusty things behind. You're not really being too um, adamant on starting shit up. It doesn't really matter. Some of you all could be holding on to a lot of um, new beginnings that you're ready to end these karmatic cycles with this Wheel of Fortune energy here. Um, I feel like with this being said, there could be a lot of people, a lot of challenges and struggles that, you're, that you have ensuing, but... Um, you're definitely ready for that kickstart or there is a kickstart here um, with the page of swords I feel like someone could be spying on you due to them uh, feeling like they could have had some regrets or some loss here all right uh, but they could be watching you because they want to make a, de a decision here you have the two of swords also the nine of cups trying to come together with some sort of wish fulfillment uh, someone could be you know wanting that interaction Okay, lover's energy, nine of swords, and it makes them really happy. So for some of you air signs, there could be someone who's kind of tired of the trials and the tribulations with the ten of wands, but they're also wanting those circumstances to be uh, a little bit more free, okay, or someone is wanting 
freedom from anxiety, freedom from those thoughts of having insecurities here. And I feel like with this chemistry, there's going to be success. Could be someone from the past, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or someone that you might have children with. But they're definitely taking an action towards you, okay? King of Wands. And with the Hierophant energy, I feel like someone's not really committed here or they're um, having to test their commitment energy. There could be someone who is juggling multiple things or you could just be in it. Like I said, um, there's like this, someone wants to come in and have this wish fulfillment. <clears throat> but they're also changing things up and shaking it up, you know, entertaining a lot simultaneously. Um, with how they're going to make their wishes come in, right? But I also feel like you guys are closed off, or this person could be closed off. I have the hermit energy here, uh, but I feel this person wants to bring love. It's like they're entertaining so much shit or someone's juggling multiple things. You're having to find that guiding light, but there is some sort of love and chemistry here. Uh, someone is trying to bring in that equal give and take with the six of pentacles as well. Okay, so let's see about possible outcomes, darlings. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. Ooh, Queen of Cups. Okay, and what else is behind it? The sun. So you could be dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, right? Uh, with the sun energy, I feel like someone's wanting some, some freedom here. They're wanting some clarity, okay, to make them feel uh, wholesome again. You could be dealing with some sort of news or some information, um, that you might be receiving some good news with this page of spears. All right. Somebody's setting out in an action as well. So let's see what's going on. Air signs. Five of spears in reverse. King of, King of swords. So this is you. All right. I feel like you're letting go of all the bullshit, the drama, the people, the conflict, all of the strife, all of the struggles that people were giving you. You're starting to analyze and see what action that you need to take is what I'm seeing here. Some of you all could be feeling like there could be a loss or someone could be at a loss because they're keeping things hidden with this moon energy. You could be dealing with a Pisces as well. Uh, page of coins. So you could be going back and forth. Okay, two of coins, page of coins. I feel like someone's going back and forth between their business, building up their business and building up their relationships and whatever it is that they're healing from and their family issues or whatever's occurring um, in your confidence because I feel like there's a vibe of three different things coming off the cards, all right? It's like somebody's healing their confidence. You're taking care of your business. You're also trying to juggle and balance multiple situations and emotions all at the same time. Um, I feel um, there's a lot that you guys have on your shoulders, but um, someone's going to be communicating very soon. There could have been some real hidden things with this justice energy in reverse and also the moon. So be aware of that. I feel like someone is watching you all, but they're also not trying to really speak on the truth. Could have been with a third party situation, possible Scorpio here. Also two of Spears energy. So you already know the truth about this person, but there could have been some sort of family of friends or some gathering or a get together. Two of Spears energy here. Um, definitely could be dealing with a Scorpio. I feel this is you setting out in your ways. Okay, expanding. There could be some sort of reconciliation here as well. Devil. Okay, wow. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Knight of Coins. Somebody is connected, but they're moving very slow. Somebody could be a slave to this connection. Okay, some of you guys could be having someone coming in. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Knight of Points, Knight of Cups. Wow, once again. So someone's getting ready to make an action. There could be some sort of betrayal happening here because someone found out the truth of the matter. Okay, so it could have been someone who's coming in and out. Might be Aquarius, someone that was traveling or someone who's expanding. Uh, they could have been trying to manipulate some sort of time energy here. Um, but I feel like uh, you already know the truth. Okay. There's definitely a lot of tens here. Ten of swords, ten of coins, ten of cups. These are both. I mean, it's like you guys had some sort of ending. This is some interesting ass shit. So some of you all could have had an ending or someone could be starting a new beginning in their emotions or a family setting or some sort of family. But definitely a lot of tens here. 
Definitely a lot of tens. Empress energy. It brings in new beginnings. Okay, abundance. You already know what the Empress do. She's the shit. Okay, new beginnings, abundance, setting out, sailing, being in nature, nurturing some shit here. Um, I feel like there's money surrounded by you. Fast movement as well with this chariot energy. So a lot of you guys, to me, you could be dealing with the Cancadian, but you can read it so many ways. A lot of these tens here is set, indicating to me there is an ending um, where someone's definitely having to take a look at uh, the critical matters of everything, the pros and the cons, okay? All right, guys, whatever's to come next, this is really, really good, okay? Ten of coins, ten of cups. You already know what business you got to take care of. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you need to get a personal reading in that description box, baby, down below. And check out my website, LaRoseMoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings. Peace.